Now, as you're thinking through the dynamic data center, there are probably a couple of thoughts running through everyone's mind. The first is, is this going to change? Are things going to go back to where they were at some point in time? And the answer is, no, they won't. 80% of IT executives say that consumerization is increasing IT workloads. And in fact, a survey that I just saw from Gartner suggested that the only group that has grown over the last three years within an IT organization has been the operations organizations, simply because of the added workload around consumerization. And it's only going to accelerate. When we think about overall smartphone penetration globally, is only at 35% of the full market opportunity. So we're in the position of generating zettabytes and zettabytes of data right now, but we're only about one third through the smartphone transition and you can just anticipate the sort of transaction volume that's going to occur and the level of pressure that's going to be on IT organizations. Now as a System Z and mainframe organization, the good news is CIOs, technology leaders, see a tremendous opportunity in System Z. 58% say it's critical to their overall cloud strategy and their scalability and the utility of computes that need to be available. And 80% of IT decision makers confirm the mainframe as highly strategic going forward. Not just simply in the traditional ZOS sense, but in moving workloads and consolidating workloads to Linux, for big data insight, and for re-energizing traditional applications with mobile front ends that are going to allow customers to enjoy all of the benefits of, of System Z around risk and scale and security with a new modern front end that's going to be very enticing for consumers and for business users. You know, we kind of look at the world of what's really happening from the inside out. It all starts with business initiatives that are being driven by lines of business. And those business initiatives continue to increase at an ever accelerated rate. And business initiatives, which are what needs to get done, turn into applications and services, whether they're SaaS, on-premise, custom, or any other sort of off-the-shelf software. There's a tremendous amount of hypergrowth that's gone on in this space. Countless new applications, countless new services that are coming together and being deployed on infrastructure, sometimes known and sometimes unknown. And that's putting pressure on operations organizations. And for us, as an IT organization, as the keepers of all things data center, what our job is to optimize those operations, making sure that they maximize their infrastructure value, assuring that application and service performance is at its maximum, eliminating risk through secure operations and integration, and making sure that we're doing everything to ensure workload portability, regardless of the infrastructure that the customer selects. And in fact, where businesses need to get to is simply to be able to specify a quality of service or a service level agreement and then understand that IT acts entirely as a service and that the business doesn't have to really worry about a public cloud versus a private cloud, a system Z versus an x86 blade. All they need to understand is that the initiative that they're taking on is being met and the quality of service is being delivered so the company can be successful, so their customers can thrive. You know, technologically, the basis for our strategy starts with the System Z. And System Z continues to have an unprecedented, unparalleled track record in reliability, in scalability, and securability. And when people talk about clouds and what clouds are all about, it comes down to two things, utility and availability, and it comes down to doing that in a secure, highly performant way. And that's really what cloud's all about. And System Z has been architected traditionally to meet those performance criteria. And now with continued innovation on the platform, there's a new focus on, or an expansive focus in the area of cloud, mobile, and big data. So you can start to see cloud and solutions and services being delivered along three different ways. One is going to be a renewal of existing applications. Two is going to be consolidating workloads in a more cost-effective and more performant manner onto System Z, whether it be on Linux or on the most performant Java platform on the planet. And then last but not least is to be able to be participative and collaborative in composite applications. 
and making sure that transactions are conducted in a way that allows businesses to gain new business and satisfy their customers. From a mobile perspective, it's going to be a lot of those applications and solutions have to be available through mobile devices. The idea of green screen is fading into the background and while that will exist at some level, we really need to focus our energy from a Cortez point of view of burning the boats and making sure that everything we do is going to meet that next generation of workers. So mobile's all about where the puck's going and where we need to be to make sure that solutions can be delivered for the next generation. And last but not least is big data. There's going to be over eight zettabytes of new information that has to be managed, that has to be stored, and has to be secured. The analytics around that create a, a whole set of challenges in and of themselves. And System Z with a combination of traditional ZOS capabilities and facilities like integrated Linux are able to solve big data problems in areas like Hadoop or with technologies like Cognos without putting an excessive burden on the rest of the IT infrastructure. So System Z in and of itself is an extremely viable and cost-effective part of an overall dynamic data center solution.